we take a look at the glaring images from 2021 where it shows the Amazonian community mourning the loss of an innocent child, an innocent child whose life was stripped away from her by the colonial forces of occupation with impunity. The tragic murder of the five-year-old Caroline Indiale in Boya on October 14, 2021 shocked the entire world, highlighting the dangerous extent of institutionalized bribery and corruption in Cameroon. Caroline was killed by a francophone gendarme after her mother refused to pay a bribe of just 500 francs cephas, less than a dollar. The cold blooded killing underscores the ongoing genocidal aggression by the colonial regime against the peoples of southern Cameroon's Amazonia. On that fateful day in Boya, the gendarme officer fatally shot Caroline after her mother refused to comply with the bribe demand. This senseless act highlights how corruption, particularly bribery, has become ingrained in the Cameroonian society. Those in the Cameroons are notorious for what is popularly known as tollgate, where colonial forces frequently extort bribes from Amazonian citizens, whom, which roads are not even provided for. The officer who took Caroline's life saw her as nothing more than collateral for these corrupt practice, a sentiment echoed by international observers. Former United States Under Secretary of State for African Affairs, Thibault Nard expressed outrage denouncing this kind of system, a system where corruption leads to neutral and figurative death. Bribery in the Cameroons has become so pervasive that it no longer feels like corruption to them, but rather a way of life. The town is gone. Where civilians are routinely harassed for small sums of money, such as 500 francs cephas and the same amount that cost Caroline's life. Well, bribery, bribery as a system in, bribery as a system in the Cameroons extends far beyond law enforcement. In multiple sectors, public servants are known to expect kickbacks for services that should be provided without charge, further stifling the economic development of the Cameroons and intensifying the suffering of the populace. This is not from the top emboldens even lower level officials to threat to treat civilians as mere resources to be exploited. Caroline's death is one of many in the colonial regime's ongoing genocidal campaign in the southern Cameroons. The regime continues to kill Amazonian civilians with impunity, as evidenced by the numerous extrajudicial killings since the conflict escalated in 2016. From the Mamenda massacre to the Ngabo massacre, and so many more. These atrocities show no sign of abating. In each case, those responsible face no consequences. A clear message that the colonial government, from the colonial government, that Amazonian lives hold no value in the colonial government's eyes. As we continue to mourn the likes of Caroline amongst other innocent Amazonians whose lives were snuffed out of them with impunity for the same reasons of bribery and corruption by the colonial regime and its forces. We must also, we must also remember all the recent victims who have been killed in diverse circumstances. The persistence of these brutal actions speak to the regime's commitment to maintaining dominance through violence and fear. Yet, these heinous acts only strengthen the resolve of the Amazonian people in their fight for self-determination and freedom from colonial strongholds, subjugations, oppression, and annexation. Caroline Indiale's death is a glaring reminder of the deep-seated corruption and unchecked violence perpetrated by the colonial regime in southern Cameroon's Amazonia. Bribery has become institutionalized, and the ongoing chillings of Amazonians, innocent Amazonians, serve as a chilling testament to the regime's disregard for human life. The Amazonian people must remain vigilant in their quest for justice and freedom, knowing that each innocent life taken is a call to action in the face of genocidal aggression. With this, we'll hand over to you, Mr. Tafari. This was back in 2021, but 
it's no it's no we're close to stopping the genocides continue the bribery and corruption continue the extortion continue mr paddy that was amazing thank you very much that's smart